All right, hi guys. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm living in China. I'm a I'm a foreigner living in China, and I, I want to do a review about Aggressive Labs Excalibur. Um, quick rundown: It's got uh, Austrian uh, 20 mg's. It's got S23 at 17.5 mg's. It's got uh, R80 at 140. They call it Trestolone Acetate. But Trestolone acetate is very expensive, I know, because I bought it. So I think they mean Testolone, uh, RAD 140, uh, 15 mg's. Stenabolic, which is SR9009 at 12 mg's. Carterin, 8 mg's. Methylstenbolone at 3 mg's. LG3303 at 1 mg. Doesn't have LGD3303. It's got LGD3303, but it's only 1 mg, so it's negligible. It also has 5A laxogen at 45 mg's. Now, a lot of people say the first time you do SARMs, you should only do one SARM to know what it does to you, see how it affects you, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, I've been on steroids for about five years. Uh, I, I'm not going to say TRT. I'm talking like steroids. Now, I don't do them like a professional bodybuilder, however they do them, and I've been doing them at low dosages, and I was actually dosing incorrectly until a few months ago when I actually realize the proper way to dose. Um, I've done oral steroids. Every oral stero steroid you can do, um, people say you should do anabolic steroids one at a time to know how they affect your body, and that's what I have done. So I know exactly how dianabol affects me, how teranabol affects me, how uh, primabolin acetate, how anabar. Uh, I've never done an uh, anadrol. I just never have done that. I have, I have access to it. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to get that kind of big. You know, it's not, not, not productive, not useful. So I know how all these steroids affect me. Um, I say that to say this. In the last six months, I've made more progress with my, my steroid experimentation because I've changed my injection schedule. But more on that in a minute. What you want to hear about is SARMs. I tell you, I'm not a good responder on stero for, to steroids. I just don't respond well. Um, that Some people are just like that. You know, you say, oh, well, maybe you don't have a good product. Or, no, that, that's not it. I've, I've tried many different products. That, the best steroid I've, I've tried is called uh, Eiffel Dango, which is German. And uh, I'm going to do a review about that in Centrino Labs and Pharmacom Labs in my next, next few posts. As well as because I'm in China, I've done Chinese powders. I have access to all the five major lab uh, factories here. And I'll do a post about that. And I say all that to tell you I know my body and I know what's going on uh, with steroids especially. With SARMs, it's a little different. Uh, I, I, I don't believe that they should be cycled like a steroid according to, to the chemical. For example, people say you should do Austin first, 8 to 12 weeks. See what it does to you. Yeah, you should do LGD four three zero three first or next to see what. I, I don't. That's not. That's going to cost you a lot of money, and you're going to spend a lot of time researching how they affect you. I prefer to do a a product cycle, and what that means is, you know, this has seven, right? Some of them have three, some of them have two, some of them have four. Why not do a product cycle and see how how the product affects you? Because you're not, it's difficult to find just one SARM. You know, SARM source, I think they still make two. There are some liquids that still have only one SARM. But the majority of capsules now, uh, Braun, Braun Nutrition, they make MK. Yeah, they do make uh, 2866. But the majority of, of products now are, are a combination because it's a synergistic approach that people are after. So I, I'd like to challenge everybody to. With SARMs, change the way you're thinking from a, a chemical or a compound cycle to a product cycle. And that way you can know the product and review the product. Because Osterin is Osterin. It doesn't matter really what company you buy it from. But these companies, they, they, they have different formulas and they put them together. And that's what people need to know about. So I'm going to talk about Excalibur. Now, why did I choose this? Well... I have researched SARMs for a long time, and I didn't want to just do one because that's boring. And I'm already doing 750 of test E and 600 of DECA a week. As I said, I'm not a really strong responder to steroids. Um, 
So I wanted, and, and I don't like oral steroids anymore because they're bad for you. And after trying this, I realized I don't think people will be doing Dianabol and Tyranabol and Anabar anymore. I think that that tradition is over because when you get a hold of this stuff with injectable steroids, it's much better than doing it with your traditional orals. Way better. Uh, let me tell you my experience, okay? Uh, first week, I did one pill a day before the workout. I noticed more more focus. I noticed more endurance, definitely, because of the Carter and probably. I didn't notice much strength, but I could go and go and go. I said, okay, well, maybe because I'm doing 750 a test a week and I'm doing 600 a deca, maybe I need to do more. So I decided the next week to go to two, one in the morning, one at night. Uh, the third day, I went to the gym. The third day of the second week of doing two a day, I went to the gym. And uh, instead of doing my typical decline bench press, I don't do flat bench. Uh, instead of doing my typical five, six, seven sets of 10 with 205, I just put on 225 and did like eight sets of 10. Actually, I, the first set was 14, and the second set was 13, 12, 12, 12, and 10. And I was like, what the hell? Big increase. <laughs> and I and I, kept, I just went and went and went until my pecs just could not contract. Now, the contraction, let me explain this. This has 5A laxogen. Now, I'm taking two of these a day now. This is the third week. That's 90 mg's. Lactose is a is a signaling hormone for for the muscles for energy to, to, to be pushed around the mitochondria, lack of a better term, lack of a better you know layman's terms. So it's possible that the reason why I'm getting better contractions is because of the laxogen in this. And when I say better contractions, I mean truly it is not mechanical advantage. It is not because of speed. It is not because of technique. Every exercise I do, I feel the muscles contracting throughout the movement. When I do squats now, it feels like doing a tricep pushdown. I can feel all the heads engage. I can even feel coming out of the bottom uh, off of the stretch. I can feel the hamstring and the glutes. I can feel it all. It's like total body awareness, which as a bodybuilder, that's what we want. We want the contraction to do the work, not mechanical advantage, not speed. We want the contraction. So... On one pill a day, I notice increased focus, uh, more energy, more stamina. Two pills a day, big increase in strength, big increase in contractile sensitivity. Uh, I like to call it uh, muscular sincerity, okay? You know, the muscles just seem more sincere. <laughs> they seem more committed to the movement. So, you know, the contraction or muscular sincerity. Um, also, there's, there's a um, kind of like a change my... It caused me to just not want to stop. So I would go from, let's say, for example, if I'm doing back, right? I would, I, I, I don't typically do regular pull downs. I, I go to the crossover machine and I do, I do high seated high pulleys with a with an incline bench. So my back is always on the bench, and I do them 15 to my nose, 15 to my chest, 15 to my stomach, and then I'll sit up with no support and then do them all the way down to my waist. And that way I'm doing like 50 or 60 reps. Now, you might think that's a bit much, but guess what? I can do six or seven sets of those going up to the whole stack for the last couple of sets with this. Now, I don't know. Will this go away after? That's that's the thing, isn't it? Is, is uh, the, what, what am I going to keep? What am I going to keep? You see, I chose this not because it's going to give me size, but because, remember, it has no LGD 4303. That, that's the most main one for size. Osterin for recovery, S23 for strength, and, and um, t uh, RAD 140 for strength. That's why I chose this. Then the other, Carterin for focus, and, you know, Sten SR9009 isn't really anything to me, and, and methyl stembolone, whatever. At, at that dosage, 3 MGs, you're not going to notice much. But the three main ingredients, Osterin, uh, S23, and Trest, uh, RAD, those three together are just a powerful combination. Uh, 300 Labs makes it. They make a, a, a capsule that has a 12 S23, 10 MK2866, and 10 RAD140. MGs. 12, 10, 10. 
So, you know, it's got 90 caps. You take two of those, you know, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Why not, right? The other option is you can, you know, like Aggressive Labs, Austrian at 15 with the LGD 4303 at 7.5, and then buy something like Sarm Source, which is just S23, 10 mLs per dropper. But I don't like LG 4, 4, 4, 3, LGD4303. I've never tried it. I don't want to get bigger like that. I, I prefer harder, more muscular type of physique that slowly gets bigger over time. From what I understand of LGD4303, I think that's how you said. Um, it, it it gives you more mass, but it's kind of like a mild dianabol, and it, it you're gonna lose some of it. And I, I don't like that. I'd rather have stay hard and strong. So I don't I don't do that. I don't want to do that. Now, people say you should get liquids and not capsules because you don't know what's in it. Well, guess what? You don't know what's in the damn liquid. It could be monkey pee in a liquid for all you know. Probably not. And, you know, there's one guy posted on YouTube, he had three of them tested. One was a powder, two liquids, and they all came back fine. So it's not that big a deal, guys. You know, I, I wouldn't worry myself with whether it's a liquid or not. The advantage to getting a liquid, a single compound SARM liquid, is this. You can control your dosing. With this stuff, you can't control your dosing. So maybe one has a shorter half-life, one has a longer half-life, but they're together. So how do you handle that? Well, you just got to suck it up and take more. So I, I do like the liquids because you get more controlled dosing. And it's, you know, if you got a 10 ml dropper or 1 ml dropper and it's 10 mg's, so, okay, so you want to take three, three, in, you know, three, drop, uh, three servings a day, you can do half, half a dropper. You know, it's about 5 mg's. So it, it does have more controlled in that way, but some of the liquids also have three, four, five, six combination SARMs in them. I, I was a little bit scared of RAD 140 because everybody says it hasn't been researched. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It's going to make you angrier. Blah, blah. Well, I'm on 750 a test a week. I don't really think I'm going to be that much more aggressive on it, and I'm not. Um, I like this. It's a, great, it's a great product. I'm in China. I get it off of a, a website called Taobao. It's like eBay. It's a little different, but it's what the Chinese people buy shit with. And they import things, and you can get it at a premium it's probably about 200 yuan more expensive than if I got it on eBay, which about an, an extra 40, 40 dollars. So I think you can get it for like a hundred dollars. I don't know if it's legal in America anymore. I haven't been in America for more than 10 years. I have no idea what's going on. I didn't even know about this shit until like eight months ago. So it's new to me, but as I said, it increases muscular contraction and sensitivity to the contraction. The muscle is more committed to the movement. And that's what's doing the work. Um, Kai Green would love this shit. <laughs> He's all about muscular contraction. So uh, that endurance, definitely. Strength, definitely. If, side, now, this is week three. I'm not going to show you pictures. I'm not going to take off my shirt or flex because I'm not into that. I don't like these guys who do, do that because it's not professional. Although I'm not very professional, I'm not here to show you my body. I'm here to talk about a product. I can tell you in the last three weeks, I've probably put on about... 4 kg, 3 kg. I don't drink a lot of water. Probably not a good thing. So it's not water weight. It's my, I'm, people say S23 will make you more vascular. It's like a, like a kind of like a boldenone kind of DHT thing. It's true. It's true. I've noticed the vascularity. I've noticed the hardness. Um, I've noticed the strength from Trestolone and the recovery from Osterin. I can definitely see all three of those coming out. They shine. I've also, you know, I don't worry about eating so much anymore. It's been said that in a calorie deficit, Austrian keep, keep, keeps your muscle and your strength. Same with S23 and RAD 140, and it's true. I've, I've put on weight, but I'm, I'm more veiny, more vascular, and more, um, more muscular. Uh, even, I mean, I'm, I stay between 9 and 10% body fat anyway. I, I'm basically in pretty good shape, so, but I don't want to get huge. I don't want to get big fast because it's just bad for your body. I do want to put on more weight. Since I've been doing steroids uh, four years ago, four and a half years ago, I put on about 5 kg a year. So I'm up to about 90 kg with shoes on. I don't really weigh myself that much. But last time I weighed myself was 90 kg, 190 pounds, something like that. So I started off at 165. In the four years I've been doing steroids, I went up to 190. 
It's about 25 pounds in four years, or six pounds a year. So you see, I don't do massive amounts of steroids, and I, and, I, and I don't eat massive amounts of food. I just take it easy and live my life and eat when I'm hungry, take my protein shakes, you know, that type of stuff. So um, I will say this about the steroids. As I told you, Dianabol, Teranabol, and, and Anabar, I think that's, that's outdated stuff. I think more people will be using this stuff in the future um, when they get past the we don't know the long-term effect kind of mentality. Try it and see what happens. If you keel over and die, then you know you're, it's not good for you. I'm going to go get my, my prostate and liver checked uh, at the end of this product cycle. And I'll, I'll post another video about it. I will tell you this, though. My prostate has definitely reduced in size. For sure. I know this because from all the steroid use and all the, the DHT derivatives, it got swollen. I mean, it, it was... The prostate will grow in size anyway as we age. I'm 45, so it's going to get bigger anyway. And with the steroids, you know, they they convert there, so it's it's a normal thing. But when I when I wear a jacket before my stomach would have like a little it looked like I was like kind of like almost pregnant even though I got a six pack right and I think a lot of bodybuilders they say it's the insulin that causes it but I think it's a swollen prostate as well as inflamed organs especially the stomach and the liver so um, I can tell you that my stomach has become flatter my lower stomach particularly has become flatter in the last three weeks I use this so I will always use s23 um, I know it shuts you down I know it suppresses you but as I'm on 750 a week of test D anyway and I do HCG I don't really care about that because I've got my test base but to you new guys starting out don't do s23 unless you're on a steroid base and if you do a steroid base here's another word of advice you should do your injections every other day. Uh, Dave Palumbo mentioned this a few months ago on one of his, maybe it was a year ago. I saw this a few months ago. I don't pay attention to YouTube that much or what's going on in America, so I'm, I'm out of touch, you know. But when I, I, I saw his, his rant, his RX rant on, on his channel, which, by the way, I suggest checking out because he has some good information. But be careful because well, he loves those advertisements for his products. Anyway, um, he mentioned that no matter what test you do, you should do it every other day. And the reason why is because when you introduce your, your that mentality of 500 a week of test D or 600 a week, you're doing two injections a week, right? Well, what happens? The first injection, if you're making 200 or 250, MGs a week naturally and you introduce it exogenously what happens well you, you put that first injection in there and now your body shuts down that's your shutdown right there bam the first injection so then the second injection brings you up to 250 above where you were when you started but you're not what are you going to get off of that and if it's a test E what you 30% of that is ester so you're only getting about a 200 maybe but by doing it every other, and, and you're also peaking, you're peaking quicker and, and, and you're, you're valleying, uh, declining quicker. So he, he mentions that you should do it every other day because that first injection is going to keep you shut down and introduce your natural testosterone level. The, then you have an off day, then an injection day. That's going to bring you back up. Then you have another, uh, and it's going to keep you higher. And that off day and then the third on day is going to get you up, get you, get you up even higher and so your half life which we know is two to three days of e for me it's closer to two days because my my metabolism is fast so your half life is gonna is gonna increase because you're gonna have more product being introduced to you which means that your levels are gonna stay higher so it makes sense right so now, no matter what I do, if it's test C or test E, it's all every other day. I don't really do test prop anymore because it doesn't make sense for me to do that. And that whole test prop makes you hold less water. That's Anybody who subscribes to that theory doesn't really understand it. So my suggestion to the new guys is if you guys are going to do test E, you're going to need more than two injections a week. 
and doing five hundred, doing doing five hundred on a Monday and five hundred on a, on a Thursday is just not a good idea. It's it's going to leave a welt inside the muscle. You're not going to be able to sit if it's in your ass. It's going to be a pain, literally a pain in the ass. So once again, a paradigm shift. Change it. Change it to try it every other day. You will use more product, yes, but that's like anything. You know, you, if you're going to try to save money and use a product you're not going to get results. You're going to end up wasting money and not be happy with it. So for you new guys, if you're going to do test D, and I know most of you are going to try it, try doing it every other day. Every other day. That'll keep your levels higher. It'll get you peaked, get you up at that peak level sooner, and you'll stay there for a much longer time. Also, don't do your oral, your traditional oral standard, Dianabol, Teranabol. Don't, don't do those. Pick a good product. Like I say, you got to do aggressive labs, but Sarm Source makes a compound liquid. Kodiak has, now they're brawn. They, they make compounds. They, all these companies make compounds. I am not saying buy aggressive labs. I'm saying don't do one at a time. I know that's contrary to what everybody thinks, and you guys are going to slam me for saying it, but we got to change the way we think, guys. We, we, we can't keep saying Dianabol, Teranabol, and, and we can't just say, keep saying, do this, do that. we got to change. we got to evolve. And so instead of, with SARMs, it's a different animal. It's a completely different animal. So we have, to, we have to adjust to it. And so I'm saying, don't think about a chemical cycle anymore. Don't mess with Dianabol. Don't, try, try this way of thinking for 12 weeks. Try a product cycle. A product cycle. Stop thinking that these are the same as steroids because they're not. And, and let's change how we think and try to get a more, a more reasonable approach to these things because doing one by itself is not going to be as good as doing two together, right? So I, I hope you guys don't slam me too hard for saying that and, and tell me that I want people to kill themselves and everything. I, I'm just trying to get people to think in a different way. And if you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, respect, okay? I, I, I don't want to have an argument. I don't want people telling me, I'm, you know negative things because I, I want us to be positive and I want us to help each other grow. So um, one last thing, I'm in China, like I said, I bought steroids from all the five, five major manufacturing companies here. I've tried, as I said, Test E from all five of them, DECA from all five of them, EQ from three or four of them. So I know their quality and I know their, their Skype IDs and their WeChat IDs. So if you have any questions about who you're dealing with or the quality, please let me know. But let me just tell you this. They're not fake. They're just not as pure, and you're going to have to do twice as much. That's just the reality of it. You know, you're better off just, you know, if you can't get it in America, if you can't get it from an American company, then don't do it. Just stick with your SARMs if you can, if you can find them. A good, you know, like I said, an S23, RAD140, Austrian combination, I could work out every day. That Austin stuff, man, it, it's great for healing. You don't need DECA. You don't need DECA. If you take an Austin at 20 or 30 mg's a day, you don't need DECA. I'm telling you right now. If you take an S23 at 20 or 30 mg's a day, you don't need any DHTs. None of that stuff. Um, I would, like I said, test at 750 a week in a good two or three combination SARM. You'd be good to go, man. So, final review. Endurance, five stars. Strength, five stars. Uh, recovery, definitely five stars. It's legitimate. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's aggressive labs. This is Excalibur, right? Seven and one. There are a lot of different companies that do five and one, seven and one. Um, just make sure you know in relation to suppression and, and uh, shutting you down, which ones do what. RAD is going to shut you down for sure. Uh, S23 is probably going to shut you down for sure. The other ones, they will suppress you. They will knock you down if you take more than a certain dose. You take 10 mg's of Austrian and maybe 5 mg's of, of LGD4303 a day, you'll probably get results. Just take it slow. You, what's the hurry? You see some guy benching 250 for, for reps over there, you're benching 180. Do you really need to put yourself in that position to chase him? Fuck him. Let him do what he wants to do. You take care of yourself. It's an alchemical process. If you're new to the game, go through the process. Learn it. Don't rush it. Take your time. you got your whole life ahead of you. Okay? All right. Once again, my name's Adam. If you have any questions about Chinese products or 
what's going on here in China in relation to, to a certain company, let me know. Also, I have access to the raw SARMs powder. I know what it should cost. So if you're looking at a SARMs product and you see a price and you're not sure if that's a reasonable price and you think maybe it's fake or maybe it's too much, maybe send me a message, ask me, say, hey, uh, what's the average price of this SARM per gram? And then we can calculate the total number of grams and uh, the dollar value and see if it's a reasonable price, okay? Uh, some of these companies do get discounts, so it might be a little bit cheaper. But uh, my point is I'm here to help you. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I hope it's been helpful. Don't be afraid of SARMs. They're real. They're good. Anybody who tells you not to use them is probably using them and doesn't want you to make progress because they want to stay on top. That's just my two cents from China. Peace.